Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel, hope all is well. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you need to know in regards to how to get a reading, please be sure to email me. And as always, thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are interested in collective messages, prophetic reads, as well as daily element signs for fire, water, earth, and air, then be sure to head on over there. I will leave the link down in the description box below. So I did have a message that I got after doing a reading yesterday. And I'm not sure. I did write this down. Give me a minute here, guys. Okay, so the message that I picked up on was somebody feels like they're being eaten alive or uh, there could have been a case open for somebody that has a fetish or a liking for humans. They could be a cannibalism or they could um, have eaten human flesh or whatever this is. We have um, somebody that could have a flesh eating disease. Okay. But it looks like something could be eating somebody up inside. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that. I, I just heard eaten alive or somebody could have been in the wild and may have gotten attacked by an animal. I just got that energy, okay? So beware of your surroundings and be careful what you eat, okay? As well as these animals out here. Protect yourselves, especially if you guys going to places where you guys swim. There could be sharks or whatever the case may be. Um, also, camping is what I'm picking up like a bear. What's the energy for Virgo? Okay, so we have the Hierophant, the Hangman. What's the energy for Virgo? What's the message? Okay. So Knight of Wands, Hierophant, Hangman, and the Fool is in reverse. So that will be the one that I clarify. At the bottom of the deck, I'm getting a tower. The tower is in the upright, and the Six of Swords is in reverse. So it looks like uh, somebody here has something to confess. Okay, whatever it is that they want to confess, it's like they feel it's time or there could have been a revelation that they, they've gotten or news about something. Somebody here could be sick. Somebody could be homeless. I'm also getting somebody here could be struggling financially. Okay. Somebody misses you like on a physical level, okay? Whether this be a relationship or a friends with benefits, somebody misses your energy or somebody wants to be close to you because I'm hearing that sound just to be close to you. Somebody wants to look at something from a different perspective when it comes to relationships, religion, or faith here. Somebody is trying to think outside the box, but then holding back when it comes to experiencing something new. Let's see. Please excuse my allergies. What's the fool doing here in reverse for Virgo? I'm hearing somebody here could be nervous. Somebody here could be nervous about something that they've been thinking a lot about, but it's going to turn out beautiful. Somebody wants to um, experiment doing something on a physical level, or maybe that's what they've experienced or whatever this is here.
We have the two of wands in reverse. So somebody here could be stuck. Stuck in their mind. Stuck where they are. Somebody feels like it's it's a complicated um, situation. What's this nine of cups? We have the hermit. So you or this person external to you could be scared about how something is going to how some how something is going to affect you if you go forward to heal or if even you can find somebody that's just as compatible as you now that you've released this individual here I think that it's hurting you to know that you had to leave somebody behind that you really love and care for warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. So there could be, be a Taurus that may, may have religious beliefs or beliefs in something in regards to relationships that may be a problem, okay? Let's see, what is this? Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future. For some of you, you could be connecting with a Taurus, a fire sign of some sort, a Virgo, water sign. Okay. So whatever you're being warned about in the near future or now, this has something to do with Communication or how you communicate, what you say, what you don't say. There's something about mixing religion or your beliefs or standing on something. Something could like potentially turn out to be a debate here. What's the message? We have valley. So there is deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Somebody is doing the, the, the work. I heard challenge. Somebody could be trying to challenge themselves or find something to be a challenge. Okay. So something that's challenging is being able to commit to a relationship or some sort of career path. Okay. We have broken bridge at the bottom of the deck. We have unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Somebody feels like they were never able to meet something in the middle or do two things that they love. Somebody couldn't keep something going when it came to a relationship and being able to upkeep a job. You will be shown the way. Maybe you worked with a person. Look, money will be coming to you or money. Yes, money will be coming to you through this older man. Okay. I've been receiving this energy for a couple weeks now. For some of you, I do feel like this could resonate as a spiritual individual, your spirit guide. This could be a gift from your, your spiritual team. They want you to be happy. And I think that you coming into this money, this spiritual inheritance or whatever this is, this could be from your grandfather okay from an emperor in the month of march okay there's some money coming for you guys in the month of march 2024 by 20 uh march 2024 what's the energy what do we need to know okay so we have february okay Okay, so we have February that showed up, I believe. February to October, there's a cycle of karma that's going to be given out 
okay? There was somebody that was in your friend group or on your social media that might have betrayed you or been two-faced here. We have scales. Keep your life in balance, okay? Do things that benefit you, but not without giving. Okay, do things that benefit you without having to do the most of one thing over another, okay? Balance your, your personal versus your career, your whatever. You have good fortune coming in. So that is confirmation right there. What's the message? What do we need to know? For Virgo. Okay, so distant horizons. We have house. Unexpected income in reverse. Number tw uh, 27, 36, 20, and expectation. At the bottom of the deck, we have a false person. There's a false person that doesn't want you to know that they try to make sure that the judge that was on your case made something go out of your favor, something that was unfair to you. Okay. This could be happening very shortly or abruptly, but this is something that's happening very soon. Somebody that has practiced law or may have been sworn into something, they're on some sort of case here. And I don't know who this false person is on the outskirts of a situation. It could be that two-faced that two individual. They're on a case that you just so happen to be going to court for. And they're going to make sure that something doesn't go in your favor. Some sort of money is supposed to be garnished from you. But we already seen that there's money that's coming to you. But somebody's trying to stop it. It's this main female. Whoever this main female is, is the person that's trying to stop this sudden wealth from showing up. Okay. They're, they want this money. To come to them. So it's like some sort of money is being redirected or rerouted and being made unfair for you to have. Whatever this is. Look, this female is expecting this. She could be 28 years old. And this could be like around 10K that we're talking about here. I heard the word Eddie or Edison. There's going to be some sort of disagreement or um, bickering back and forth. Number two, or not number two, number seven. I'm also seeing 37. Somebody here could be seeing 777. Somebody is coming into some sort of luck. Somebody could be playing the lottery here. I heard the word conjunction. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Conjunction. Somebody is talking to an older fellow about his retire, his retirement. This could be plans, money, or whatever this is. He may have changed his mind about uh, going on a trip or something. 
I don't know if there's some sort of study that he was supposed to do, but there was something he was going to go outside of the country for. Okay. Somebody here may not have given a letter of recommendation, confirmation of some sort. And it looks like somebody is going to consult about this letter. Okay. Number 46 could also be significant. Tell me more here. What's the energy for Virgo? Damn. Somebody didn't learn their lesson after they were sued or threatened to have some sort of attention being brought. This could be like uh, somebody going to the news or um, the news station to talk about how uh, corrupted a certain group of people were or what they've done. Yep. Somebody was ready to expose a group of people uh, for being corrupted in the justice or legal system. Like I said, this female is either a friend or family member of this, this judge that is trying to make sure that you do not get some sort of unexpected income that was supposed to come to you. Okay. Somebody made a deal with this judge to do this. Or if this judge doesn't know this female individual, she, she persuaded him in some way to make sure that something that you want, you won't receive for you to be instable. Somebody here wants the world to be against you and for things to be hard for you to receive. Somebody here could be using sexual manipulation too or bribery. Okay, look, blessing is in the middle of the deck. I can't make this up. Somebody purposely knows that you are on every level blessed and that you should receive this, but they don't want you to have it. Somebody needs to check the numbers 27, 27, because uh, look, we have the number 27 here. Okay. The number 27, and we have the number 27 here. Somebody is ready to expose a group of people that are in the legal or justice system, as well as the people that are involved in this crime to make sure that money is taken away from you guys. Okay, Virgo? Somebody wants to stop whoever this is that's building conflict or not allowing them to be efficient financially to be brought to justice. What is your spiritual guide saying about this situation? What do you need to know? What is your spirit guides telling you to do about this? Okay, spirit is saying here, within the next few months, there may be some sort of argument or miscommunication that you need to handle, but this won't be a peaceful resolution here, whatever this is. Somebody's trying to be argumentative or bullying you through this argument. What else is going on? What do we need to know here for Virgo? Look, somebody might have gotten killed and there's evidence that's found out that the third party has something to do with it here. Somebody forged a signature in order to receive something that wasn't rightfully theirs. And somebody got killed in the, in the process here. Somebody here that's in the justice system or legally is trying to cover up something, covering up a crime. 
okay? Somebody here may work from home that is hiding evidence, okay? Somebody is communicating with somebody. Look, authority sat back and watched. Authority sat back and watched something happen. The justice system and the police department, they know about this, this uh, murder here. What's the message? We have a wingman. Somebody here has an accomplice that they have helping them. Somebody's not ready to surrender. Somebody could be on the run here. Somebody here, this woman, remember that I was talking about a woman that is trying to work alongside a judge, a crooked judge that is trying to take money away from you? This is the woman. It's their ex. What's the message? What do we need to know? Somebody here feels like they're going to attack you because you're a rare breed and they want you to be extinct here. They're going to try to put you in the hospital here. Okay. They're getting people that they work with or work for them or is on some sort of payroll to attack you. They're jealous. Somebody has a vendetta against your family. Somebody's family members could be involved. If you are on the outskirts or not getting along with a particular family member, they too also are in this here. They're all getting a paycheck or cutting a check with these individuals. What's the message for Virgo? Somebody is dating more than one person. There is no um, exclusive energy. Somebody is apologizing or feels remorseful for trying to harvest your energy. Somebody here could be or know a registered sex offender. What's the message? For Virgo, we have a love triangle. Whoever this person is that's in this broken ring energy, you're going to find out that they had you in some sort of third party situation and that they have demons that they're battling. This could be drugs, alcohol, sex, gambling, prostitution, etc. What's the message here? What do we need to know? I heard a colleague is somebody that they could be in a third party situation with. We have addicted to the lifestyle. Somebody here is somebody here is addicted to the lifestyle. I heard Riddick R I double D I C K. That's the word that I heard. Riddick. Somebody is in huge regret of the choices that they made getting involved with an ex or a colleague here. Give me one more. What's here for Virgo? What do we need to know? So there's a love distance or a long distance. Long distance is killing an individual that's at a, at a distance from you. Somebody here could be moving in. Whoever this person is that's moving in, they want to get close to you so they can uh, use your blood to sacrifice themselves to be pure again. They want this 888 abundance energy because you're in this 777 luck, luck energy and they want this 888. Okay. 
somebody is willing to get close to you or move in with you just so that they can be saved. Their biological parents are always on business. Somebody doesn't feel like they're loved. Somebody has always felt like the odd sibling out. Okay. What's the message here? What do we need to know? What's the energy? Okay, so we have a hater. There's a hater that's jealous of you. There is an evil psychic that offered bad advice or spell to this individual that hated that hates on you and may have had some sort of backfiring energy. Somebody may have drowned or failed at something that they were trying to do to you. Somebody here is pansexual. Somebody hates you because they are conflicted about their sexuality. They, they're mad because they can't help the fact that you know already what they are. But they have to lie to themselves or other people so that they can put on this facade. What's the energy? What do we need to know? What's here for Virgo? So we have somebody that is a golden coffee caramel brown skin complexion or tone. You are on your grown mentality type of tip. Yep. Somebody tried to curse you, but you're too rich in spirit for it to even reach you. You are coming into your most authentic, transparent energy. Within the next two months, you might be meeting with somebody's parents if you're dating them. We have Airbnb. So there's a stepmother or father that might have uh, ordered an Airbnb for you, or you could be traveling with these individuals. Somebody is having some sort of feeling or vibe that something isn't right. Whoever this person is that's not right, they could be a model or could be slim enough to be a model. Somebody here is very arrogant. They don't like authority or being told anything. There's something about sticking your neck out for somebody. We have a random love affair. So somebody could be cheating on their spouse. We have comfort, relaxation, put it on my tab. Somebody's trying to get a person comfortable enough so that they can get them drunk, okay, to record something, okay? I don't know if y'all have children and they're traveling with you, but um, it looks like somebody here isn't much of a parent to their child. Somebody's more concerned about making money by any means necessary. Somebody here is going to spend quality time with a person just to stabilize their energy. So somebody's feeding off another person's energy by um, tainting yours. What's the message here? Damn. So at the bottom of the deck, somebody is thinking and strategizing on how they're going to return. They fell in too deep, whoever this person is that you're connected to. They can't help their feelings for you. Like I said earlier, you could have been in a no strings attached relationship with this individual in the past, but they have feelings that they're trying to hide. So maybe that's why I was getting that energy. Okay. I even wrote it down. I said, eaten alive. This is what I heard in my spirit. And I tied eaten alive to confession, cannibalism, or some sort of flesh eating disease. Okay. I'm getting you're connected to this person on a fifth dimensional level. So this is a strong connection that you have. Somebody here is lying through their teeth, hoping that others believe it. 
because they're fearful. They're afraid of losing themselves by loving you. We have a saving money. Somebody is very cheap or is being very frugal at this time. They don't like any, they don't like spending their money on anyone. They're trying to preserve their money, but taking money from you. Look, counterintuitive. Everything that they do has the opposite effect. They're unsatisfied and constantly complaining about how their life is going. Okay, they're never satisfied. Everything bothers them. This is how they get to play games with motherfuckers right here. And because they know that you're a spiritual healer or a leader, they want to use you and your energy to preserve the, their level of innocence or the decisions that they've made. They just want to use your blood to wash it away, all their sins away. And that's why they're doing some sort of blood sacrifice or something like that. They want to perform some sort of ritual where they get to use your blood as um, trying to save themselves from their impurities. Okay. What's the message here for the collectors? Okay, so we have two, now three. Okay, so we do have teach. There's something that you cannot teach or somebody isn't learning. Okay, so Spirit is saying, this is something that, that Spirit can't teach you. When it comes to releasing, you need to do the work here. You may be experiencing sadness and isolation, which is making it hard for you to open up. And I see that you're trying to open up here. Somebody could be seeing 513 on the clock or May 13th could be significant. Okay. Uh, for some of you here, if you're not over a particular relationship or, or person that you have dealt with in the past, it's extremely because... You felt like this person was your person and you can't help how you feel. Okay. I'm also getting that you do not want to detach from this individual because you feel like you can start over. There just needs to be some sort of understanding between the two of you or vice versa. Okay. What's the message? What's here for Virgo? So we have a new day. There's a cycle that's going to be starting here that you need to take advantage of to get connected to spirit. Because it looks like somebody is just dwelling on the past or what they could have done to change something. Okay. Tell me more. What is it that we need to know here? Give us clear and concise messages for Virgo. All right, so we have medical staff, healing. Healing needs to take place in order for something to change. I'm also getting uh, 1313. We have release in order to heal. 1313. Number 13, and we have 13 here. Release in order to heal okay i also got fun at the bottom of the deck so there's some sort of um complicated energy about you and the way that you have fun. Somebody feels like they lost that spunk or fun personality to have fun. However that goes. Somebody's name could be Samantha, Cyrus, What's the message for Virgo? Okay, so we have an artist and we have the priest. 
At the bottom of the deck, we have Hermit in reverse. So I feel like somebody has a lot of talents and or gifts that they need to express. I feel like your talents go beyond the five senses. You also have a spiritual talent. Okay. And however you feel to express this, spirit is saying go for it. Okay. It's time. It's time to allow your light to shine. With this priest energy, somebody is going to violate the trust of your spiritual community. You are being seduced by your own spiritual role that you play. And the hermit is exactly your energy, Virgo. There is a need to withdraw from society out of fear or somebody is withdrawing from society out of fear or negative judgment of others, refusing to help those in need. So somebody here may be in hermit mode just because you care too much about what people think that you are because you have a, a certain light that shines, which is not normal. It's like, you just need to keep moving with that pioneer energy in reverse. But somebody is trying to trick you to get you into their life again so that they can do some sort of blood sacrifice on you here. So you're, a, you're being a, a, a victim. You're a victim of this person. I heard conquest. I don't know why I heard that word. All right. Show me more for Virgo. What's the energy here? What's the message? Okay, the only one that came out. There's a person that you have a past life connection with that you just can't help but love and they love you. Somebody here does not want you to allow another person to come in to have a relationship, okay? Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that spirit is giving you. Ask for your forgiveness, accept apologies. Be kind, but never be in regret. That's toxic is what spirit is saying. Gain clarity by meditating, talking to, to your guides. If you ever felt, feel lost, we have an air sign here that is no longer dwelling on the emotional or physical pain, but rather choosing to leave here, to leave a situation. This is a third party, okay? They don't want to be involved in this uh, three-way situation anymore. So they're leaving. What does this person want to tell you? Whoever this person is that is connected to you on a spiritual fifth dimensional level, what do they want to tell you? What do you need to know? So this person realizes that you guys are soulmates here. And it's so funny that this is the only card that came out. They realize the connection goes deeper than just the surface level. It is hard to be just friends. All right. It's hard for this person to be just friends with you. What is their dark confession? What is their dark confession? It's difficult for them to process their emotions. They're not available right now. And they depend, they depend on you too much to let you go. They have codependency issues. So I feel like this may not all be your energy. You are trying to detach from them, but they're holding on to you. Okay. Let's see here. 
what is this person not telling you in regards to the way that they feel this person feels like you're shutting them out four of wands like you're you're not allowing them to come into your soul tribe or family group they feel like an outcast yep that's the truth here they want some sort of clarity on why you're choosing to leave them behind or wash away what y'all built okay i feel like this person is is um making it clear that they know that they're not perfect and that they might have lied to you or kept things from you but it's just kind of like they they miss certain things and, and it kills them to know that y'all two are not in a relationship if they had it their way they'd rather be um connected to you even if that means there are problems or um arguments happening rather than not being connected or communicating with you but i feel like there's a queen of wands energy that they may have had a sexual relationship with that they're choosing to leave behind because that person doesn't truly make them happy here all right this person is better off being friends with that queen of wands because it didn't work out here that's what i'm getting so somebody here that feminine that they're dealing with could be a fire sign as well all right. Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.